In April 2014, a shocking incident unfolded in Lahore, Pakistan that would baffle the world. At the heart of this bewildering situation was nine-month-old Musa Khan, who, along with his father and grandfather, faced attempted murder charges. Pakistani infant accused of attempted murder. A nine-month-old baby has been charged with attempted murder. Attempted murder charges against a nine-month-old baby in Pakistan have been thrown out. The case generated international outrage, and many used it to point out the failed legal system of the country. The charges stemmed from a protest against gas cuts and price increases, an event that took a tragic turn when a police officer was injured. What defied all logic was the fact that the entire family was charged, including the infant Musa. Journalists on the ground expressed disbelief and concern about the sheer absurdity of accusing a nine-month-old of attempted murder. The police came to the location along with the Sioux Gas Company team. They were raiding the area in connection with gas bills. The child has been charged with attempted murder after stoning the team and injuring them. Musa's grandfather, speaking out in defense of his grandson, emphasized that the baby was too young to even hold a milk bottle properly, let alone commit a crime. To add to the incredulity, it was clarified that no police officer had lost their life during the protest. The protesters, mostly charged with throwing rocks, found themselves facing attempted murder charges when the police were armed with lethal firearms. The repercussions of this case went beyond just legal absurdity. As the news of the charges against Musa and his family spread, it sparked outrage and disbelief. Many questioned whether anyone in Pakistan was taking this case seriously, given its inherent absurdity. Even prosecuting attorneys were mentioned as potentially pushing the case forward, leaving many to wonder about the integrity of the justice system. Criticism was directed at the judge for not dismissing the charges outright, further fueling the public's frustration and disbelief. Comparisons were drawn between this case in Pakistan and concerns about freedom and justice in other parts of the world, particularly in the United States. While the police in Pakistan cited lack of training and budget as reasons for their actions, journalists covering the story expressed genuine concerns about their own safety, particularly after reporting on such a surreal and shocking case. The Musa Khan case brought to light disturbing aspects of the Pakistani legal system where it's not uncommon for police to resort to collective punishment of entire families, often at the behest of complainants seeking revenge rather than justice. This practice often led to legal absurdities, with cases falling apart due to the compromised credibility of the entire situation. While charging toddlers is relatively rare, it raised important questions about the state of justice in Pakistan. In response, the powerful chief minister of Punjab ordered an inquiry into the matter. Musa's family's lawyer emphasized that according to the law, children under the age of seven cannot be considered criminals, further highlighting the inefficiencies and shortcomings of the Punjab police. Calls for a complete overhaul of police procedures echoed as people demanded reforms to prevent false charges and protect the innocent. In conclusion, the surreal case of Baby Musa Khan shines a spotlight on the complexities and deficiencies within Pakistan's justice system and law enforcement. It raises profound questions about fairness, accountability, and the need for reforms in a system where innocence can find itself on trial, even in the most absurd circumstances.